Jenny talked about the value of teaching students interviewing skills in your discussion this week. And that particular uh, discussion board conversation got around to e-portfolios and websites and some of the other things that uh, seem to be necessary these days for finding a job. So I thought I'd use the uh, weekly wrap-up to show you that you actually already have such a tool. And if even if you're not a person who can create websites or has any experience with coding, uh, you do have a simple um, portfolio tool available to you. Uh, and I thought I would take a moment and just show you where it is. When you log into the portal, it's right here. It's called PebblePad. And PebblePad is an ePortfolio system that the university has acquired for all of its students. When you click on that, um, you've already logged in because you have uh, logged in uh, to the portal. So it will take you then uh, to the home page for PebblePad. And there's a few things I just want to show you real quick. Um, one of the things that you would do, of course, is to upload things. So you would upload a file to PebblePad. You could drag it there or choose a file. But this might be images, papers, videos, audios, uh, other things that you have um, have created in which that you might want to show to others. Now later we're going to be uh, developing some of our courses to include aspects of this where you would actually use this as a place to put your paper. And part of the reason for that is that it's easy to share with uh, other individuals, including perhaps mentors or outside evaluators. Uh, but everything in PebblePad is private until you make it public, so keep that in mind because that will give you the freedom to play around a little bit. Now, the things that you have available to you are called assets. These are things you've uploaded. Um, there's another thing here that they call resources. And if you go to your resources, uh, these are basically worksheets that you can fill out about various things. Maybe you go to a conference meeting or something like that. And then, um, as you com after you complete it and save it, then it actually also becomes one of your assets, and it'll show up in your asset store, which is a list of all the stuff that you've made. Now, as you're working on um, these things and you've accumulated some assets, then you could uh, start to think about putting them together. Uh, or organizing them in a way to share with others. So there you see a portfolio, which might be of a thing where you could add pages to it, be more like a website. And you can also create like a, a one page um, thing that would function as a mini site. Here's a reminder telling you that it's important to save things often. And so I'm gonna just show you real quick um, how easy it would be to create one. Now there's an image there, you could replace the image if you liked with an image, another image that they have or an image that you've um, uploaded yourself, you can um, change that as easy as just typing on it. Um, so remember that a portfolio is in some sense a way to tell your story. So. Um, You've got a banner and uh, maybe you want to play with colors and uh, things like that. Um, but here's um, adding content is as easy as just doing this. So let's say I want to add an image and I'm going to go over here and open I have to have put it in my asset store. These are my assets. So I open it and I can look at all the images I've got and I can resize it if I want. Um, and maybe I want to add some more content. So I say, oh, I'm going to add a, some text. It gives me a text box. And I can write in there. Here's something I've already copied and pasted. I decide that um, I want to play around with it. I just basically highlight it, and then it gives me options. Maybe I want to make that larger. Uh, maybe I want to um, come down here. And to make this line bold, and maybe I want to make it 
spread and I just have I can play around with stuff now here's the magic of this as far as making it simple um, I can actually take this now and just hold down on it and move it up here and put it on this line and you can see that I've begun to just develop this page. Now I could have made the whole page two columns. Um, when I go to save it, it's going to make me I'll give it a title. Um, so I confirm the title. Once I've saved it, um, I can uh, preview it. So. Here you can see, pretty simple website I created, in a, a web page anyway, I created in just a moment, a few moments. I did want to say a couple things about this. Uh, one of them is in adding content, you can't add the text of your papers. This text has to be copied and pasted. Um, or you might um, create a link. So let me add another text box here. and. Uh, It would be as easy as creating a link to an asset. So maybe I want to go over here to look at my assets, and I have a a, a study guide I created, and there you go. So that would take people to that where they could download it, and it's a way of sort of showing off some of your better work. Anyway, this is it, and uh, that's already available to you, and it is a thing that is going to be um, that goes with you so even after you're done you can add as after done with the program you can add assets to this you can arrange them or whatever and the share feature of these pages or portfolios or blogs or everything else uh, can be as narrow as one person or five people or make them public um, but it is pretty simple drop and drag functionality that you're used to uh, put into a, to a way of organizing and sharing your work with others. Uh, I'd encourage you to just think about this as a place to maybe uh, keep a copy of all your papers and things like that. Maybe later you might want to use them in some way that you'd share them with others. Uh, and finally, uh, just to know the Learning Center is spelled uh, with the British spelling because this is a British company that we purchased this from. But there's lots and lots of little videos that uh, walk through some of the different aspects of how to do things. So, I encourage you to play with it. And I encourage you not to get distracted by it because, of course, you have lots of reading and other work to do for class and um, all. But it is kind of fun. It is yours. It is available. And I hope that uh, you do take a few minutes to mess around with it and think about its potential. Uh, this is, quite frankly, important for those of you that for us looking at the issue of education, teaching, and assessing because I believe that more and more of our assessment, at least, will be done through systems like this. Um, PebblePad, you know, has that personal part of your, these are my assets, these are my pages, but it does have an, a function here called PLUS where we as administrators uh, can create assignments you have to do. We can keep track of your score on those assignments. Uh, we can, uh, in another aspect of it called Flourish, we can uh, set things up so that they're shared with uh, evaluators or mentors perhaps that might that could make helpful comments on them. And this technology is, um, I believe, eventually going to replace learning systems like um, online learning management tools like Blackboard and that you'll see portfolios playing a more and more important part in education in the future.